I was born in Hubei province, China. So it's a small town, actually, yeah. So when I was a child, I just want to be a salesperson. <laughs> yeah, but with, uh, in, in, in the university, I started thinking about the future career, become engineer that would be a good choice, I think. As a woman in engineering, I would say engineering is not that hard as you <laughs> expected. It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, women could be a very good engineer as well. And uh, I think uh, as a woman working in uh, engineering, you have some porosity compared to male staff because there's very small amount of women really successful in the field. So the chance for you probably even better compared to your uh, male staff colleagues. So I'm working in the material engineering field. My particular research area is design and fabrication nanomaterials for energy storage. That's a good question. <laughs> I actually uh, working on the nanomaterial for lithium ion battery application. So why lithium battery is so important? Because fossil fuel is very limited in the Earth's crust. So in the near future, maybe the uh, fossil fuel will be used up and become even more expensive than nowadays. So we have to find energy resources that's sustainable. So lithium-ion battery is uh, one of the green energy sources. So the current lithium-ion battery already quite good compared to the other secondary battery. It has the highest energy density, high power density, and the cycle life. But the problem is uh, increasing uh, demanding of the uh, electronic device, we need a better battery. So our researchers are actually now working in the lab trying to improve the currently available electrode materials or find new materials with even higher energy density and performance. I think I have been successful because uh, I'm very lucky. I'm working in the field I'm really interested in. Yeah, also, and of course, I'm working very hard and put effort in trying to make things happen. So we have lots of uh, instruments for nanomaterial characterization. Yeah, yeah. So we have SEM, TEM, and uh, AFM, a lot of wonderful world-class facilities available at University of Wollongong. Yeah, the global costs about uh, 50,000 Australian dollars. Uh, the motivation, I would like to say Professor Hua Kun Liu. She was my uh, PhD supervisor. She was my supervisor during my PhD study. Yeah, she's very nice and a very encouraging person. She always encouraged me to work in the, uh, this field. And I found that, you know, it's very, um, what to say, I can feel the successful after achieve something. It's very delicate. It's, it's um, yeah, just happy, feel very happy, yeah. I love Wollongong. I came here in 2000 as a PhD student. I found that it's, you know, working in the lab, you have always have technical support, a good supervision, and a friendly student and colleague. So, yeah, I think the facility, especially this year, the instrument, we, we invest a lot of money in purchasing, uh, researching uh, instruments. So I would say the working environment, the facilities are world class. So if you want to do anything uh, innovative, you always can find somebody to work with and the instrument is available. Mm -hmm.